Welcome to Pretty Lies and Alibis. Let's seek the truth and travel the long road to justice together. What you know, alibiers? Welcome to another episode of Pretty Lies and Alibis. I'm Gigi. Good to have you here on this Sunday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Mine was really good, but back to the grind. And I went down a big rabbit hole today, y'all. So I have found the old Adelson Institute website from 2007 all the way up to 2013. It's not online anymore, but there are tricks. And I found it. So we're going to go through that website. There's a lot of pictures on there. I've got them already here. This is going to be a YouTube only episode. Also found some high school yearbooks for Wendy. There's some photos in there. We're going to go through those and just little things that I found that were going on before we knew who the Adelsons were due to the murder of Dan Markell. First, if you're watching on YouTube, you know the drill. Hit subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, hit the bell if you want notifications. And our music fact of the day, what are some popular songs that never hit the top 100 charts? Bad to the Bone, Island in the Sun by Weezer, Mad World by Tears for Fears, The Scientist by Coldplay, Lie Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra, and New York State of Mind by Billy Joel. Thanks to everybody for your generous donations. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys rock. So let's hop into this. I'm still working on those wiretaps, by the way. Should start rolling those out here soon. But let's look at this website. So this is from 2007. And there's some pictures here. There's actually a lot of pictures. I blurred out the people that worked there, even though it was public at one time. It's not public anymore. And I'm not going to expose people who may not want to be associated with these people anymore. But it says, welcome to our website for Lauderdale area cosmetic and implant dentistry and sedation dentistry. Meet the doctors at our practice. Cosmetic dentist Dr. Harvey Adelson is joined by his son, Dr. Charles Adelson, a periodontist specializing in dental implants and periodontal surgery. Together, they possess over 30 years of clinical expertise. Both doctors are known for their incredible attention to detail and commitment to excellence. When you select the doctors at the Adelson Institute, you are choosing the best of the best in cosmetic and implant dentistry. You can see some pictures here of a very young and very unstressed looking Charlie Adelson to the left, Papa Harvey. So it says here, creating beautiful smiles, the art of cosmetic and implant dentistry. A smile evaluation performed by doctors Harvey and Charles Adelson can help to provide you with a healthy and artistically pleasing smile. The doctors consider unity proportion, balance, lip line, facial shape, jaw angle, and even eye symmetry when striving to create a smile that looks both beautiful and natural. Set up an appointment and start living your dreams today. For financing options at our Fort Lauderdale area practice, cosmetic and implant dentistry services are made affordable thanks to Capital One Healthcare Finance and City Health Card, designed specifically for healthcare expenses, both of these plans are great ways to gain a beautiful smile with no financial worry. Well, let's move on to the next page. They have an About Us section. Meet our unique father and son team, Dr. Harvey J. Adelson and Dr. Charles Adelson. With decades of combined experience serving the Fort Lauderdale area, this cosmetic dentist and periodontist offer expertise in a welcoming, relaxed atmosphere at the Adelson Institute for aesthetics and implant dentistry. We're happy to have this opportunity to provide information about our dentists and support staff to allow you to get to know them a little better. What does it say about Harvey Adelson? Dr. Harvey J. Adelson has been described as a dentist's dentist who is widely respected and admired by his peers. After practicing in Manhattan and Glen Cove, New York, he moved to Florida and began serving the Tamarack and Fort Lauderdale area in 1973. Dr. Adelson spent his formative years in New York City, where he graduated from Stuyvesant High School in Manhattan. He completed his Bachelor of Studies in Molecular Biology 
at the University of Buffalo, then earned his dental degree from Temple University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A graduate of the world-famous Panky Institute, Dr. Adelson completed an ADA-approved general practice residency at Kingsbrook Jewish Medical Center in Brooklyn, New York. Dr. Adelson is always updating his clinical skills through the research and continuing educational courses available through his membership in the International Seattle Study Club. In addition, he has been a clinical assistant professor at Nova Southeastern School of Dental Medicine for many years. Dr. Harvey J. Adelson served his community as past president of the Broward County Dental Association and as a delegate of the Florida Dental Association. In 1986, he received his fellowship in the Academy of General Dentistry. His continuing education courses have led him to his interest in cosmetic dentistry. He is a member of both the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry and the Atlantic Coast Dental Association. Dr. Harvey J. Adelson lived in the North for many years, but decided he wanted to establish his family in the warmer climate and more beautiful environment of South Florida. He and his wife have raised three children since moving to the state. In his free time, he enjoys photography, jogging, and tennis. He is extremely proud that his son Charles has joined his practice as a periodontist. This arrangement provides patients with a unique opportunity to enjoy a very high level of comprehensive dental care in one location. Moving on to Charlie, Charles J. Adelson. Raised in the Sunshine State, Dr. Charles Adelson graduated from J.P. Terravella High School in Coral Springs and continued his education at the University of Central Florida in Orlando, where he received a B.S. in Micro and Molecular Biology. He was a member of a variety of honor societies there, Phi Eta Sigma, Golden Key International Honor Society, the Dean's List, and the President's Honor Roll. Dr. Charles Adelson went on to receive his Doctor of Medical Dentistry at Nova Southeastern University School of Dental Medicine. He continued his studies there after completing a three-year postdoctoral surgical residency with extensive training in implant placement, periodontal surgery, and regenerative bone therapy. He wrote his research thesis on the role of plasminogen activators in periodontal disease and diabetes. Dr. Charles Adelson is a member of the following professional organizations, the American Academy of Periodontology, American Dental Association, Florida Dental Association, Atlantic Coast District Dental Association, and the Broward County Dental Association. Though licensed to practice in 36 states, he has chosen to practice in his home state of Florida. Serving Tamarack, Fort Lauderdale, and all of South Florida, cosmetic dentist Dr. Harvey Adelson and periodontist Dr. Charles Adelson are known for their family-friendly approach to general cosmetic and implant dentistry. On the page here, it has two photos of Charlie. He's with patients after they have completed their treatment. Underneath the top, it says Dr. Charles Adelson delivers a bouquet of flowers to a patient as she completes her dental treatment. The bottom, Dr. Charles Adelson brings a gourmet food basket to a patient who has completed his smile makeover. Moving on to Donna, patient coordinator. After graduating from Queens College of CUNY with a BA in education, Donna moved to Broward County, Florida to teach elementary school and raise her family. Time management skills came naturally to a busy mother of three, and when the children were off to college, Donna joined the Adelson Institute team. Her warm, caring nature is evident in every aspect of her work with patients. She always feels a sense of satisfaction when she can help a patient make decisions regarding their dental treatment. She answers phone calls, makes appointments, helps with insurance and financial questions, and in general, does a great job accommodating our patients' busy schedules with appointments. She loves seeing patients overcome their dental fears and achieve a great smile. She said, I love seeing the joy on a patient's face after a complete smile makeover. Outside the office, Donna enjoys traveling, spending time with family and friends, playing tennis, and taking long walks on the beach. We could add a few things to that, but... We'll keep it straight. Charlie also did some charity work in Jamaica. There's a photo here. I blurred out all the kids' faces. In June of 2006, periodontist Charles Adelson participated in a medical mission sponsored by the Women of Hope. He traveled to both the inner cities and, I can't say this word, y'all, rural areas of Jamaica, providing dental care to orphan children. 
He has said of the trip, this was the most rewarding experience I've had in dentistry, delivering quality dental care to children who otherwise would not have access to modern medical treatment was tremendously satisfying. It put a smile on my face as well as on the faces of the children I treated. I plan to do this every year. There's another section for Donna, by the way. Donna Adelson, patient coordinator. There's a picture here of her pretending to type. It says, Donna is the person whose smile will greet you as you enter the Adelson Institute for Aesthetics and Implant Dentistry. She acts as an advocate and advisor for each patient, making sure your appointments and financial arrangements are in order throughout your treatment. Originally from New York, she earned her bachelor's degree in education from Queens College in her spare time. Donna enjoys traveling, tennis, and the beach. Here's some website photos. Uh, top left, you've got Charlie and Harvey posing as if they're looking at some kind of a dental model. Below that, you got Charlie pointing out something in a file to another employee. Below that, you see Harvey in action with the patient. Up top, the whole staff, you got Charlie, mom, and dad. And then you have three women down there who are blurred out. Another photo, instead of being in front of the fake palm trees, they put them in front of all the files, which is like, hey, look how many people trust us. And then below, you've got Charlie and Harvey looking at an x-ray. The Adelson Institute experience dentistry in a relaxed environment. At the Adelson Institute for Aesthetics and Implant Dentistry, we treat every patient as family. That is scary, which means they're going to get all up in your business and poke their nose where they shouldn't and cause you a lot of problems. All right, let's move on. Our guests enjoy a serene and welcoming dental experience thanks to our complimentary beverages, movies, satellite TV, and hot towels. We seek to create a warm, caring atmosphere by encouraging interaction between our valued patients, premier dentists, and knowledgeable support team. Our patients also enjoy all the latest and most advanced cosmetic dentistry techniques. Having brought smile makeovers to Fort Lauderdale's area patients for more than 25 years, our patients also enjoy all the latest and most advanced cosmetic dentistry techniques. Having brought smile makeovers to Fort Lauderdale area patients for more than 25 years, our dentists offer the best of the best in cosmetic and implant dentistry. On an update to the 2011 website, it's still the same information as what was on the previous website. This is just an updated picture of Charlie. Now, I found some social media websites of Charlie's not much there anymore Although on Pinterest, he did have four pins from the Adelson Institute website. He also had a Tumblr account. It says, in addition to being one of North America's top periodontists, Charles J. Adelson, DMD, PA, is an avid world traveler and amateur photographer. This photo blog showcases Charlie Adelson's love for travel and photography. Charles J. Adelson is part of the Adelson Institute for Aesthetics and Implant Dentistry. Dr. Charles Adelson's practice is housed in a beautiful state-of-the-art facility located in Taramac, South Florida, near Fort Lauderdale. Here you can enjoy superior cosmetic, restorative, and implant dentistry in a caring, spa-like environment. At Dr. Adelson's family-friendly practice, patients are the number one priority. Their dentists, hygienists, and treatment coordinators all have gentle chair-side manners and go the extra mile for every patient. Charlie Adelson, DMDPA, just in case you forgot, takes the time to address your concerns, gets to know you as a person and provide personalized results for your dental needs. And it tells you to visit floridasmilemaker.com for more information. The photo here seen was taken on a trip by Charlie in the summer of 2017. That would be three years after the murder of Dan Markell. His Instagram profile is private, but there's a picture of Charlie in a white shirt, some khakis, and a big old elephant. Here are some throwback photos of the Adelsons. We have Charlie Adelson's senior year photo in the middle up there. You see Charlie Adelson looks like he might have been on a ski trip and Donna on Wheel of Fortune. She solved a puzzle, y'all. Get this, Mischief Maker. That was the puzzle she solved. By the way, what is it with Wheel of Fortune and people who are accused of murdering people? Because if you followed the Lori Vallow case, she also was on Wheel of Fortune. They need to do a Where Are They Now as far as the felons episode. Wendy's high school yearbook. 
There's one picture here to the left. This not your book. It's Britannica's Battle of the Brains. Wendy there in the middle. The rest of these photos are from her senior yearbook. So on the left here, we have her senior photo, her senior quote, true happiness consists not in the multitude of friends, but in the worth and choice and the atrocities of school I can forgive for I never was a cornflake girl. He who knows himself is enlightened. Keep the faith. Wendy Adelson. She got most likely to succeed. She was also on the tennis team. And here on this page, we have her senior ad. Just did one of these for my daughter. There's photos of Wendy as a little bitty and then all the way up to senior year with a quote I would assume would be from Donna. You are the sunshine of our lives. All our love, mom, dad, and Charlie. Missing Robert there. Interesting. And the next photo is a picture of Wendy. She was on the weakest link. And here are just some random pictures of the Adelsons back in the day. You see some very young Wendy and Charlie and Robert and Donna and Harvey. And then up to the right there, you see preteen Charlie and Wendy and then Robert. And then you see Harvey and Donna. A couple of pictures. The one on the bottom right is from Charlie's Instagram. And then just a younger picture of him, you know, probably early 20s there. These two pictures here were hanging inside the Adelson Institute on the left. Picture of Charlie holding a big fish. And then Weekly Fisherman, you see Harvey Adelson there with somebody who works on a boat holding a big old fish. And then to the right, you see here, this was presented to Dr. Charles Adelson. These are four photos of his time doing that medical mission work there in Jamaica. People who have followed this case a while, this might not be new, but I have a lot of people who kind of found this when I started covering it. And then I know I got a lot of people after Dateline aired. So we're all kind of learning this together. Also, put this on YouTube earlier, but we'll play it now just in case people haven't watched. I found two different commercials for the Adelson Institute. Let's see them. What I enjoy most about our practice is restoring a person's smile that often changes their personality and gives them a more positive outlook on life. Our practice uses the most modern dental technology from rotary endodontics, computer generated ceramic restorations, digital radiographs, intraoral photography, and of course, we use nitrous oxide and oral sedation for the highest level of patient comfort and relaxation. My name is Dr. Charlie Adelson, and I am a periodontist, owner, and co-partner with my father, Dr. Harvey Adelson, who's a cosmetic dentist. What I love about what I do is being able to restore people's smiles and change the way they chew, change the way they live, and change their self-esteem and how they think about themselves on a daily basis. When a patient comes to my office, they're being treated like family. And it's also being a team approach where the hygienist, the cosmetic dentist, and the periodontist are all working together to give them the optimal result. The last thing I want to show you guys is from Dan's blog. There were a few posts that were in relation to Wendy and their marriage. This post here, May 25th, 2005, it was posted at 1036 p.m., it says, my dispensability has been proven. Okay, so the first paragraph, he's just talking about being away for 10 days. And it says, anyways, lots to catch up on, but I thought I'd report first on the most important development in my life that occurred recently. Last Thursday night in a little village, I think it's Hodness or Hadness, which overlooks the Sea of Galilee, I became the luckiest guy on earth. Wendy Adelson agreed to marry me. She now wears what she likes to call a big girl ring, which I find has proven a worthwhile investment in terms of its deterrent powers alone. All I can say is, wow, did I win the lottery of life? And it is a sentiment with which my friends and family eagerly share. Very sad. You can see the photo there to the right that he included with that blog post. Sunday, March 12th, 2006, it's titled, I Went to the Chapel. 
as Paul reported a couple of weeks ago, I recently got married. Here are a couple of the choice picks of the Osita in her unfailing loveliness. If I can dig one up, I'll try to post one later with Ethan and me doing the, I believe it's Kazatsky or some variation. It's kind of like where you kick your legs out when you're dancing. It says the wedding was in South Florida and two days later we took off to a club med in San Salvador, Columbus Isle, which is an island in the Bahamas. Notwithstanding a couple glitches, the first night they gave us a room with two beds. I have to say at least this club med was an awesome place for a honeymoon. It's adult sports camp with tons of delicious food and fun Canadians as geos. He puts camp counselors in parentheses. What could be better? One of the best features of Club Med is its all-inclusive nature. One can go a whole week or more without having to engage in the frustrations of daily commerce. And because everyone else around you, and because everyone else is on vacation around you, it just makes for great entertainment to recharge the batteries. Never having been to a Club Med or the Caribbean before, I highly recommend them both for canoodling and other joyful purposes. Fast forward a few years, Friday, July 31st, 2009, the blog post is titled Baby Boy Markel, and it says, updated with pick below. Wendy and I welcomed a little and delicious seven pound, five ounce baby boy into the world last night, Wednesday at 10.58 p.m. Everyone is flourishing. The baby naming ceremony and bris will take place next week on Thursday at the Hassey. More details to follow, but I'm using Facebook mobile to pepper the world with inanities and new pics. So if you're interested, follow Bam Bam's life journey there. With gratitude and blessings, Wendy Adelson and Danny Markell. It says, here's a pic of the little guy dreaming of white fish salad and other smoked delicacies to come. It's very sad to read that. The luckiest guy in the world. Um, at the time, I'm sure he thought he was. He never could have imagined from that very first happy blog post of engagement, never could have predicted what would become of that. So... I'm going to keep digging, still working on the wiretaps, taking a lot longer than I thought. I thought I'd have some out this weekend, but I'm going through and cutting out gaps. I'm cutting out long periods of silence, making sure the subtitles are as good as I can get them, and also just improving the audio and trying to tweak that to where everybody is on the same volume level, and it's just taking more time than I ever thought, all while trying to be mom and getting stuff together for track for my youngest. That starts tomorrow. So hope you have a good rest of your evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.